In this presentation, I'll give you the basics of OSGI and how it enables you to build modular applications. And in particular, I'll go into a bit more detail on how to combine the Spring programming model with OSGI um, to bring that modularity to your enterprise Java applications. So first, a short introduction to OSGI. OSGI calls itself the Dynamic Module System for Java and it allows you to compose your applications out of multiple modules which are called bundles in OSGI. And a bundle is basically just a jar file that contains some additional metadata for the framework. And OSGI gives you a very strict visibility for types that are defined by bundles and you can actually um, make certain types visible to other bundles uh, on a package level. And if you do that, you can also version those packages and the bundles themselves, which allows you to have multiple versions to coexisting in the same runtime environment. And an OSGI container provides a very dynamic environment. Bundles can be edited, removed, stopped and start all at runtime without requiring restarts of the OSGI container itself. And on top of that, type level sharing that is enabled by bundles, OSGI also gives you a services registry which allows you to share not just types but actual object instances between bundles, thus providing you with a sort of a service oriented architecture within a ser uh, single Java virtual machine. So OSGI has been around for quite a while already. Um, the OSGI Alliance, which is the organization that governs the OSGI specification, was founded over 10 years ago. And originally OSGI was targeted at very restricted environments like embedded hardware, where quickly uh, people realized the need for a very lightweight and also very dynamic platform that could um, host multiple applications that had sufficient isolation from each other but also allowed you to reuse certain types and certain objects between applications. And for a long time OSGI was actually only used in those type of environments uh, but things became uh, very interesting when uh, Eclipse decided to base their plugin system on uh, OSGI. And since a number of years we've also seen a, a steady uh, growth and adoption of OSGI in the enterprise Java world. Um, most enterprise Java application servers are currently based on OSGI and we also see uh, new server products like the Spring Source DM server emerging that allow you to use OSGI within your own applications as an application developer. The OSGI Alliance is a very, um, a very open organization. There is a lot of companies that are um, that are members there, and basically anyone that wants to contribute can become a member of the OSGI Alliance. So when it comes to the OSGI basics, to turn a standard Java jar file into an OSGI uh, bundle, all you have to do is to add some headers to your manifest, and the standard OSGI bundle.